Sam, hello. It is I, so. Risa Krollmeister. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still waiting for my Xanax to kick in. So, yeah. like, we are, we're having a grand time. So, as you guys remember, thank you for the resub, Gemstoned. 23 months! Oh, we're so Ooh, close to two. Note. I know, right? I love that. Um, and I'm back here don't with, um... Know what it is. <laughs> with my with my pal BB-8, also known as Dr. Ray Ray. Um, Hi. The legendary Risa Krollmeister. Yeah, sure. Dang. <laughs> what is... Oh, 2020... Shh. It looks like an Among Us? Little dude? That's what it seems to be. I, I hope they paid the creators for that. I hope so, too. Oh, man. I'm looking at myself in the camera, and my hair looks so shiny. Wow. Ooh, it does. It's so shiny. Oh, I'm so happy with this. The like the main issue I have with the shampoo bar um, is that I it, it lathers quite a bit, but I have a lot of hair. So trying to get all of the lather onto my scalp is very difficult because there's a lot mm, of hair there. Mm -hmm. um, and so I guess I last time I showered, I missed like the nape of my neck, basically. So I have, oh. I ended up, I counted last night when I was lying in bed awake because I couldn't sleep. I have nine pimples on my scalp back there. Oh, I mean, I it, hate scalp pimples. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm PMSing, so I also have several on my face, mm -hmm. which thankfully my webcam does not show because <laughs> the webcam loves me. It makes my skin look beautiful, um, and you can still see my freckles on my nose. So that's really all Aww. I want. That's why I hate, uh, like, face smoothing things, because they always get rid of my freckles. And I mm -hmm. like my freckles. They're cute. I... Yeah, Among Us did come to the Switch, which means I can probably, like, play it with people now, because <laughs> I always had to, because it's not on Mac, so I always mm. have to play on my phone, and I'm like, I can't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do anyway, and you expect me to navigate on a screen that is, you know, smaller than a Pop-Tart? I don't think so. <laughs> That is a good unit of measurement. Smaller than a Pop-Tart. <laughs> I, I once, uh, when I was teaching uh, physics lab, we had these pre-labs that the students had to do, right? And one of them was like, if you had like, if you needed a lever large enough to, I think it was like move the earth, count it in the size of like the Milky Way. But <laughs> the guy who wrote it neglected to say galaxy. <laughs> and I kid you not, I had one student who was like, I know what I'm supposed to do. However, I'm going to write this in terms of Milky Way bars. <laughs> and literally made the calculation in terms of Milky Way bars. And I'm like, you know what? Full credit. You did what you were asked to do. Yeah. This you was know? when I was also telling them, like, honestly, if you can make me laugh, we all stay happier. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I started getting a lot of sarcastic shit on my uh, pre-labs that fantastic. I very much appreciated. Yeah, it makes everyone happier. Like when I mm -hmm. would draw things on my math exams. Oh yeah, I drew dinosaurs on a lot of things. Uh, my my PhD advisor still has one of my dinosaur drawings from a cover page on one of my exams because yeah. I I knew I hadn't done well. And so I just drew dinosaurs on it and Valid. He, he hung it up in his, <laughs> his office. Uh, I know that for one of my algebra classes in college, for people who don't know, um, when I, I went to community college, but I had, I, I was homeschooled for high school, so I didn't have like transcripts and I had already taught myself algebra. Um, and cause I was like 16. So I already knew this shit. Um, I started <laughs> learning algebra when I was in fourth grade. Like I was on top of that. However, yep. I had to take a placement test because it wasn't official that I had learned all this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. so they wouldn't let me take any of the, like, actual level classes. Um, and so I was taking the evaluation and my computer crashed. Oh. Uh. Well, the one at the testing center. And it, they're like, well, it still recorded your answers. And I was like, I was only about yeah, halfway through the test. And they were like, no, it's fine. So I had to retake, um, uh. algebra and college algebra. Oh, God. So I had, um... Yeah, it was, I had to retake Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, which were, like, high school-level yeah. classes. So, as mm -hmm. you can imagine, I blew them off. 
um, and mm-hmm. I still got the highest score in the class. No, that was my <laughs> college algebra <laughs> class, which was like matrix algebra. And I remember mm-hmm. being so fucking bored. He ta- there was an entire class where he just taught us how to use graphing calculators. And I was oh, like, God. I learned this in fifth grade. Why am I doing this? <laughs> um, and I skipped pretty much half of those classes. Um, but we weren't allowed to turn in our exams until the very end. And they were mm-hmm. multiple choice exams. So I oh, finished God. mine in like 20 yeah. minutes. Because multiple choice, like... You're, like, halfway through the questions, and you know what, you know, you've narrowed it down to know which answer it is. Exactly. And he still made us show our work, though, so I was like, fine, I'll just do it. Um, But it meant that I did a lot of doodling on my exams and handed them in, and he didn't like me very much. (laughs) I did have a professor get pissed at me once because I drew dinosaurs on a quiz, because it was one of those situations where he had not actually taught us the material that he was quizzing us on. Oh, I hate that. And so... I I BS like we were all pissed about it, and so I BS. I got a higher score than people who actually tried because I BS. And yeah. I drew dinosaurs on it. And he actually went to like the department chair and was like, "Students aren't taking my class seriously." One of the students drew a dinosaur on her quiz, and so when I went to the chair to be like, "Hey, this guy sucks," and he told me <laughs> that I was like, "I'm just going to tell you right now that was me," <laughs> and he was like. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, that shows you how little respect I have for this man. Yeah. Um, Fix it. I know that my matrix algebra teacher, he, sorry, professor, he was very clear on that. Um, yeah. but he didn't, he wasn't a doctor. So <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I had very few that were like actual doctors. So they were mm-hmm. very big about that. Um, but he, made this whole point about how like you had to show up to class otherwise you weren't going to get the grades and he got Uh so salty that i ended up at the end of the semester with i think it was a 98 in the (laughs) class and i just didn't show up to the classes and he fucking hated that also i (laughs) talked during class because people were asking me questions because they're like hey risa you're smart teach me how to do this and that was my college (laughs) career (laughs) of people going yeah you seem to know what you're doing teach me yeah that was and in community college i had the same thing i literally taught my algebra based physics class because Mm -hmm. our poor our like i genuinely feel bad for the guy who was asked to teach it he was a he had a master's in um meteorology and math and they told him to teach physics because it was science (laughs) with math in it he had no idea Aww. how to teach physics. I think it was, I, if I remember correctly, it was his first time ever teaching the class, too. Oh, so he no. had no idea. He would get halfway through a problem, realize he dropped something, and then, like, get all flustered and not know how to fix it and stuff. And it just left everybody else confused. Yeah. And so, like, I was I was at the problem table in the back because we all were just back there dicking around because we knew we wouldn't learn anything from him. And, you know, everybody else would be looking at me like, what is he doing? doing and i'm like i will teach you all tomorrow when we do the homework (laughs) i had um i've talked about this class before where i was i was in a linguistics class uh full of spanish majors and it wasn't our spanish linguistics class we had to take an actual linguistics class and Mm -hmm. i remember when one of them realized brisa you know what you're doing and i was like yeah linguistics is my minor and she was like (laughs) you have to come to our study group So study group got bigger and bigger every week and they literally bought me whiteboard markers for, and they were like getting the study room every time in the library. That was uh, nice. And that was my senior semester. That was the, that was the group of girls who called me Ariel because I had dyed my hair red that semester. (laughs) And then when I dyed it back to Brown, they were like, how are we going to tell you apart from the other white girls? And I was like, I'm the one who speaks Spanish. (laughs) I get it. I do. I I understand. I do just I have generic white girl face and I'm I'm fine with that. I've made my peace. <laughs> I got bought lunch by some of the people that I was teaching Spanish to and or not Spanish, God, physics. <laughs> I was if you're not teaching, teaching anybody Spanish, Spanish. Let's be quill. Cool. If... Let's be clear. I don't <laughs> I, I no, 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 thank you, please. Um <laughs> I was closer to teaching ASL than I was to teaching Spanish. Ever, but um, my, my boyfriend at the time, who was my final boyfriend, and not because I've been getting girlfriends, I'm asexual, <laughs> I'm a romantic, um, he was upset that I was going to be going to lunch with these two guys. And I was like, 
what's the big deal? We've been hanging out all semester. Like, I know them. I trust them, etc. And he's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's not going to be safe for you. I'm like, are you going to protect me, you string bean? I'm sorry I can kick more ass than you can. I think I'm going to be fine. It's like, Amazing. it was a jealousy thing. To be clear, he was jealous. That's he wasn't weird. actually concerned for my well-being. He was a very strange man, and leaving him was a fantastic idea. <laughs> And not just for the so reasons that you were into him. <laughs> we literally got into a car accident on oh August God. 8th, 2008. And the only reason I remember the date is, is, is it is the day the Beijing Olympics started. I remember that date as well, because that was the date of the graduation ceremony at um, the uh, youth theater I was part of. And I, hmm. I got, to, that was my first graduation of anything ever, because nice. I never got to... I never got to do some kind of graduation ceremony ever yeah. until then. And then I skipped my community college graduation when I got my, uh, my AA. Uh, mm -hmm. I skipped that because my aunt had scheduled her baby shower for that day and uh. it was causing an issue with my grandparents. So mm -hmm. I went, okay, I guess I won't be going to my graduation. And then they mentioned <laughs> me by name, uh, apparently at the graduation because um, I was the youngest one graduating. Ah. So I was getting, I got my AA when I was 18 and mm -hmm. apparently they like actually just were like, and our, so our, our oldest graduator is graduating at 80 something and our youngest Risa, Risa, sorry, they probably called me Risa at 18. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Watch that be the only time anyone pronounced your name right on the first try as if you weren't <sighs> even there. Yeah. Actually, I get some people calling me the, the right name, but they're, it's only people who don't speak English as their first language. Mm -hmm. If English is their first language, it's always Rissa. Yep. Because English is ridiculous. So when I wear... Yes, it leaves shitty men in the dust. When yes. I wear, like, name tags for, like, I have to write it myself for, like, events. Obviously mm -hmm. not an issue at the moment. But I will yeah. write Risa, and then under it, I will write rhymes with Lisa. And mm -hmm. I have still had people... There was a specific one that uh, when I was working for DPS, I was working for Denver Public Schools. You guys can know that now because I don't work for them anymore. Um, <laughs> but I went to a, like, training. I don't even remember what it was about. But the lady in charge of the training, like, she asked a question and I was the only one who raised my hand because still, as an adult, people are too afraid to raise their hands at, a like, a training. And I'm like, why? It's true. So I do it's it. It's true, we are. So she's like okay, yes, you, uh, Rissa? And I was like, read the rest of the... Oh, I should have read the rest of it. Yeah. Yes, you should have. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> okay, we, we've, we've wasted half... No, we didn't waste it. But let's get to the game. Let me share it with... With Ray Ray. So that she can see what's going on. And then I guess I have to show you guys too. You guys don't want me just to narrate it for you? Because it would be kind of fun. I mean, <laughs> it would be very enjoyable. Okay, let's see. Is it going to do it? Terrifying. It's doing a thing for me. For you, but not for not for OBS. OBS, no. OBS says, um, sorry, I'm capturing the version of Deadly Device you were playing yesterday. I refuse to do the one for today. It's a different program. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. There we go. It responds to, um, threats. Yes. OBS is like that. Okay, so. If I was there, I could probably just stand behind you and then, like, the vague instructor field that I have left would probably just do it. Yeah, it's, TA, That's how this it's works. TA syndrome. Uh... Okay, yeah. wait, so before before we get going, let's talk about the, we're trying to 100% this, let's talk about our awards we have to get. So, yes. Alarmist, uh, we have to push the alarm button 10 times, we've only done it 8 times so far. Uh, candy, we have to Blacken. eat all of Nico's candy, we haven't gotten there yet. Chemist, we have to create all the formulas, we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Electrified, we have to turn the big Tesla coil on ten times. We haven't gotten there yet. This Easter is absolutely egg. absolutely not safe. Easter egg, we have done. So we already, we've found two out of three so far. Um, we only needed to find one, but if I'm 100%ing this, I'm going to get all three. Um, True. 
gamer. We have to play all 25 levels of aggregation. I might do that off stream. I literally <laughs> might just do that. Uh, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to get through 25 yeah. levels. As you guys saw from yesterday, I'm not good at that game. Uh, gummy Bandit. Uh, we have to steal Ryan's gummy bears. We're not there yet. Imperfectionist. Num, num. Mess up Mason's desk three times. We've done it two out of three times so far. Composer. Play the piano ten times. We're not there yet. Pigeon Handler. Press the pigeon button around 20 times before solving it to get the award. We have already done that. Um, and hopefully it will work. Yeah. We, I've done it like 25 times by now, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Com uh, pretty Kitty, we have to rebuild the robotic feline, which we are close to doing. And then Trivia Tamer. So what is the last we... Okay, so after viewing the coding on Ellie's computer, click on the vase in the lounge while coming out of Nancy's room. Okay, so I guess we can do that. We've looked at the coding on her computer. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Uh, load. I was just, I was just gonna start <laughs> again. All oh, right, we made it into the lab. That's where we're yeah. at. Um, we did that. Check. There really Check. needs to be tape on these wires. Oh, we didn't snoop Ellie's work. Oh yeah, no, there needs to be um the what's the columns. Um. The, the things, and they have yellow yeah. and black on them. Yeah, yeah, to corral those and make them less of a trip hazard. Yeah, even when I was working. Okay. Look like at the fire extinguisher just sitting on the floor over there. Amazing. You're supposed to have that kind of, like, in a spot where, like, usually you put, like, um, red yeah. paint behind it or something so that you know where it goes. Everybody puts it back dangerous. every time. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like sodium hydroxide and HF in there, Nancy. Don't touch it. You're gonna the die. Red must mean it's locked. Okay. I bet if I turn it's everything locked. blue, it'll open. Cool. Let's try. <laughs> Nancy just hacking, you know, you know, supposedly high security systems by randomly pushing buttons. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? What happens if you turn everything red? Does it all just blow up? Like, who designed this system? I hope not. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I got it. No, no, Risa, <laughs> you don't no, got indeed it. indeed we do not. Oh, and as for which version of the theme I prefer, Nintendo fan, I think I prefer the classic version over the modern one. <laughs> I'm so just, bad at this. Just so atmospheric. Oh my god. Oh, we're so close to turning it all red. <laughs> so close. We need to turn it all all blue. But what if I did turn it all red? Blow up the lab. Let's do it. Just to prove what a ridiculous system you have set up. Probably nothing happens. I can keep doing this. Up. T pose. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we just reset our sim. Um, I hate this. See, I keep doing it. It's like a Rubik's cube. No, I know how Rubik's cubes work. Thank you. <laughs> I can solve one in pretty much about three minutes. I I have never, I have never been able to solve a Rubik's cube. I don't know if the T pose meme is originally from Sims. It's it's just I the know. way that you like animate um, human type figures. Yeah, it's uh, not when you like construct the model. It's, it's not... usually like yeah, like we got it all red, but, like, buddies. We did it. We got it all and red. And nothing happens. And nothing oh, come happens. On. Come Ugh, on. Disgusting. Okay. Um, I am offended. Nope, that didn't. The T posing protester in mid. Yes. <laughs> exactly. 
There we go. Fucking finally. Why am I so bad at that? Time to just- Oh my god, for real? Don't pick that up with your bare hands, Fucking Nancy for Drew. real? <laughs> you need to have gloves on, and you sure as hell don't put it in your pocket. So for reference, HF is, um, hydrofluoric acid. It is highly, highly dangerous. Um, there's very severe injuries, because HF is one of the ones that's kind of dangerous because you don't really feel it when you spill it on you. Um, it's kind of like sodium hydroxide. You don't feel it until it's too late, and then you end up in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Have you god. all ever seen Saw Six? Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like Saw Six obviously exaggerates a little bit, but no, I have heard absolute horror stories about working with HF. If you're in any kind of like actual lab, the you have to take like a week's hmm. worth of training to be allowed to touch hmm. HF. You don't. Hmm. You don't just pick it up and put Something it in your pocket. It would not be somewhere where you'd allow be allowed to do that. Something must be Something broken. Must be broken. Something must Nancy be broken. Nancy won't pick up dead fish, yet she'll pick up acid without gloves. Exactly. Then again, this is also the same woman who put butter in her pocket, and I will never get over that. And don't forget the turkey. And the turkey, yes. And then also somehow an Egyptian spear. Oh my god. Just... Etching solutions. <laughs> Extremely ah. caustic. Do not <laughs> use over or under mixed solutions. In Incorrect amounts are deadly. deadly. Yeah, because they'll... The fumes. The fumes are usually so, what makes it deadly unless you spill it on you. Um, we gotta do all of these, just so everyone knows. Um, Nancy's yoink. sense of understanding is broken. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at everything in here before I move on. Hmm. I mean, we've already touched at least multiple things that we're not first. supposed to be touching, so. Of course, I need to close the box first, she says. And then I can touch things. Yeah. I mean, we can't do anything with this. At least this thing. So here's the other thing. This thing clearly has an interlock that won't let it function with the box open. Here's the thing about science labs. We tend to defeat interlocks when we're not supposed to. <laughs> um, I I once yelled at somebody for defeating an interlock on a, uh, it was a scanning electron microscope. So if you don't know what that is, it basically shoots a beam of electrons at a target and you image it with that. So it's x-rays. So like very important that you have all of your like doors shut and everything and that it doesn't overheat. Well, we ended up defeating the interlock for um, water circulation, uh, which you're not supposed to do because the water is how you cool it. But like we knew that we were circulating water, like we could see it circulating, but the sensor wasn't working. But it's like, yeah, sure, let's just defeat this interlock. And I'm like, can, can we not fix the interlock, please? I would like to fix the interlock. That is what I would like. <laughs> Especially since we had already busted the chiller once. Um, we had put deionized water in our water-cooled chiller, which you don't do because water is already very, uh, very hard on metallic systems. It, it's very corrosive. Deionized water is even worse. And we put it in there because we had like algae growing inside the chiller. Looking. No, you don't, Nancy. You really don't. And so we were like, well, it can't grow in DI water. Well, we ended up breaking the entire chiller that way. It was great. I'm not doing oh, this right now. <laughs> yeah, just hook up the resistors inside something that, like, puts out enough amps to, like, destroy the world. <laughs> just just do that, Nancy. That's safe. Yeah, it is. I'm glad you agree. I have the clues uh... I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. Do we have the clues? I know we do, do have, we the, have clues. the clues. Maybe? I took, yeah, I have this. But oh, okay. I don't want to, so we're not going <laughs> to. Just so everyone understands that. Um, sometimes you just got a nope out of something, and I'm okay with that. Um, let's go into here. Yeah. Look how the door is, like, just got yellow plexi in it for some reason. Yeah, why not? Who locks rooms in lab with dumbass codes like shapes uh, and colors? Time to just grab a silicon wafer for no reason. I've already got one. Violent glitter. I'm just gonna keep it in my pocket, I guess. They're so brittle. You would never put that in your pocket. It would shatter. She has she has like a binder for that. Sure. That's where she's gonna put this manufacturing design book too, I guess. I loaded the program on the computer next to the etcher. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. these are kind of cool because you'll have a CAD program that you can make the pattern in. Mm -hmm. This is a 3D um, designer, but you can just, I, I always worked with 2D because my stuff was so small. And usually it's very old. <laughs> <laughs> like everything in here is being so old there? is very accurate but um it, it is kind of funny it, like and we will all screw around with it and we will all make drawings of just random shit of course that's what you do surprisingly in my lab nobody had drawn dicks with it although you know that can change at any time Okay. Also, that's okay. not typically where you would have the little ribbon to show you that there's airflow. Usually you have that on the fume hood itself because that's actually where you care about the airflow. Like you the want air? the fume hood to be... S yeah, well, you would put it on the on the, um, on the the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you would put it like down there at the bottom so gotcha. that anytime the hood is open, you know that there's air being sucked in. You know that that's a negative that. pressure area. So if you do that's start done. getting fumes, it won't immediately go out into the room and you'll have Can't plenty of time to, to close the fume hood up. Check. And that is what you do. You shut it and you walk Still away to do that. and you wait for EHS to come take care of it. <laughs> okay. That, that ain't your pay grade. That's somebody else's job. So I don't need to do any of this yet, um, but... I feel like I should. Let's just like make a bunch of things, you know? Let's make a bunch Dude, of solutions. Oh god. Um yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going to overwrite that. Let me just write down, not write down. I'm going to take a picture of the solutions <laughs> as if I'm going to write something I don't have to. <laughs> Time to blow up water. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you can blow up water if you drop like um, potassium or something like that in it. Um, my one of my professors for my undergrad got her PhD in nuclear physics at Stanford, and she said one time they had a, a chunk of potassium that they needed to get rid of. They weren't going to use it anymore, and they were like, "Well, what are we going to do with this?" Well, there was a big pond on campus, and at two in the morning, they went and they threw this chunk of potassium into the pond and caused this like massive explosion. And just ran. Okay. So. Hydrofluoric acid and nitric acid. 2 to 12. That's the ratio. How am I supposed to fucking do that? 1 to 6, you dipshits. I. Sorry. <laughs> if Haunted Carousel taught me anything, it's that Nazis are not the worst people in the world and that water actually explodes. Yeah. 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 Of course. Um, whoops, I accidentally like, this is a document now in my phone, by the way. It's like, hey, that's writing. Is this? Yeah. It's a document. Is this to be a document? <laughs> sure. Oh, Haunting of Picasso Malloy. Yeah, you're right. One of those haunted games. Yeah. There's a lot of them. So, um, some of these are easier than others. So I'm going to do the easy ones first. Just nitric acid and water. Yeah. Blow up some water. Okay. And which one's the nitric acid? I think it's HNO3. Why not? I think. Uh-oh. Oh, well, evidently it was not. It was not. Oof. It's okay. We'll Thanks. figure. Yeah, I'm just going to look it up. It's fine. Apparently that was, yeah. No, no. It's, H it's HNO3. It just must have been the proportions. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because, yeah, I'm like, nothing else in there has I think it literally it, wants so. it to be one to one instead of what I did. So. Yes. So. It literally just wants. No! Oh, my God. Ah! Let's try this again. I do enjoy that they have used a photographic asset for the sink. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like, yep, the, except it's never going to be that shiny. No, nobody's faucet is that shiny. So can I not just like throw this away? Then what am I Yeah, they're to? like, you would have a okay. disposal Okay, I can put it back there. You don't do that. I can so just hard. put it back in. No, Amazing. Never, like, if you pour the wrong amount, like, for, 
like anybody who's actually doing this in real life, you never, ever, ever just pour it back into the jar that it came from. You always discard it if you've poured like too much. Uh oh, I never, shouldn't. Never ever do that. I feel like I shouldn't make all the other ones until after I make the one I need because it just lists it as formula. Oh, can you dump it in that uh, hazardous waste off to the right? Ooh, ooh. Can, you, can you do anything That's, with that? Yes, or? yes. Can okay. I put that in there? I can! Ah, okay. Okay, so. I mean, that's not, yeah, it would look like a jar. It would look like all the other jars. Like, none okay. of us have, like, good bin that we put things cool. in. <laughs> like, now, not like that. Next but... one that is easy one-to-one -one is hydrofluoric acid and nitric acid. So. Yeah, good shit. Nancy, you need gloves. You need a, you need a, a lab coat. You don't, don't ever do this. And we you said need, you really need goggles. This is stuff you do not want in your eyes. Nitric acid, um, sodium hydroxide. I think is H two S O four. And my dad got a dilute solution of that in his eye when I was a kid, and it oh my God. permanently screwed up his eye. Oh my God. <laughs> he still has it, like, and, and he can still see out of it, but. Yes, I am, in fact, in agony. And I don't, like, this is stuff that I didn't do. I didn't do photolithography myself. Um, I would hand that off to other people who would go down to, like, a national lab and do this. Um, but, like, obviously you hear stories and so forth. And I did, there was talk of sending me down at one point. So, like, I kind of had to get familiar with it. And yeah, it was like, do not touch anything unless you have been. And I, I did work at a national lab for like two months. Okay. So there was a lot of do not touch things. Hydrofluoric acid and nitric acid, which I just did, but this is going to be in a separate, separate measurement. So I need two and one. Hmm. Um. Yes, I know how to do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so which one's first? Okay, the hydrofluoric acid. And you would, like, be cleaning your beakers. And, like, you don't just dump it out and then you, like, wash all of that in between and... Okay, here's my two. Good times. And which one is 12? And then the nitric acid is 12. Uh, two. Three. Another thing you never do is hide your, like, PPE requirements behind the bottle of nitric acid. Yeah, you know. That's where it says must wear face shield. You don't. These people. Come with me and you'll be <laughs> in the world of OSHA, OSHA violations. violations. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now I need potassium iodide and water. Okay. Yeah, it's just KI. Okay. And that looks like that's a dry mix. It's a dry powder. Cool. Which, is um, which one is... Yeah, potassium iodide is the one I need. Oh, nope. It's apparently that that is a that is a jar for a powder. It sure honestly. is. I agree. Cuz you don't put liquids in plastic bottles no. on the off chance that they can corrode. Like even if you're pretty sure it's not going to I almost put it in the water. Oh, come on, Nancy, <laughs> little. I'm about to put water in with this. Is the hilarious <laughs> bit. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, Nancy Drew. I think she means you would contaminate the entire water uh, water yeah. sample if you did that. But... And I agree, but but like also you are just standing right next to the sink, and if you're if you're leaving it in an open beaker like that, that literally is just tap water. Okay, and we then... do not recommend. But because this is like if this facility is supposed to be as old like they act like it is, that's all iron pipes and shit. You've got iron and everything. Okay, so now I need sodium hydroxide and water. Which one's sodium hydroxide? Na. Naoh. Yeah. Yep. And that one is four. Perfect. 
and then water is three. Just, this is the just easiest throw some one. Of that in there. Bloop. Okay, last one, the one we actually need, finally. The one that's like, ah, yes, I'm having to do things. Mm. Um, so it needs to be three, one, four, which is actually very easy. Um, it's so much harder in the senior detective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, everything's so easy in junior detective. Amateur sleuth. Yeah, Nancy just it is. carries this photolithographic etching okay, solution so in the pocket. Yeah. Hydrofluoric acid is three. You really ideally would have this in the same room where you would do the photolithography to minimize how far you have to carry Water a glass jar full of caustic chemicals. Um, but sometimes that's just not possible because of the design of the building. So the nitric acid is one. And in that case, you carry it like it's a baby bird. You you have one hand under the bottle, you have the other hand on top of it because you must not drop the baby bird. We did it, y'all. We made every single one. Yeah. I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> I've never done that before. It was <laughs> exciting. Okay, we did that. I can delete that now. Move that to the trash. I don't need it is that. It's good practice to have the safety shower right next to it, though. Good it is, job. yeah. Is there an eye wash on it? Yeah, there is. Did that. Did that. Good. Is there a this? drain in the floor? Oh, fuck this. Oh my god, that's- they have the cap off of the fucking out- What? Mm. Oh god, that is how you die. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> fine. Okay, so now... And it's so funny because, like, the first thing that would have happened after Nico's death is an OSHA investigation, obviously. And they would have found all this shit. This place would be shut down. Look at these Completely. just out here as well. Amazing. Oh, God. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh. Nico liked to live on the edge, and this is why he is dead. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Um, What else do we need in here? What should I be doing? Like... <laughs> actually in what i'm supposed to be doing um explore the lab i did it never mind i'm I've got done another fire extinguisher sitting here oh yeah they like have three no, so they have one here no securement whatsoever and oh my god so that's one and then this one over here is two i and don't see tickets hanging three. like inspection tickets on them either yeah, there's like yeah. you, what 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 so that's three um i guess i could get into the control booth if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. I'm not really into that right now. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can... That writing on that chalkboard, by the way, is from like 1982. We never erase anything. Unless we literally need the chalkboard. <gasps> Woo! Is shiny. Eggs, Eggward Shellington Esquire the second. I love it. Okay, well, we got all three eggs, so nice that's fine you know um what else do we need to be doing <laughs> hey, the people, are you sure your grandmother isn't haven't nancy done that. drew haven't done that haven't 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 done that haven't done that yet <laughs> for instance did did she keep checklists and come you know constantly note that things were locked i can at least put this back Yeah. Um, shapes. I love how that's just labeled shapes. <laughs> um, I also like that we have this brown baggie that's evidence. And it, all just... it has in are these cable ties. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's I, I so cute. I gotta say, I'm like slightly worried about the fact that this hot plate has no temperature control, but... It's just on just or literally off, has okay? A, yeah, on or off. I guess they're just using it to like heat up their coffee, but still. I, I don't know. Out of, There's out a, of order. That is a tiny microwave. It really is. Look at is. how little it is. It's the same size as the hot plate. <laughs> uh, I'm not here yet. We haven't learned that. I guess I need to just go... Apparently I haven't explored Ellie's workspace enough. So I guess we'll go do that. Do we need to look in our trash? Oh, maybe. I don't think I tried to look at- Oh my god, that's so slow. <laughs> Jesus. 
god, our freight elevator that we used to have in the physics building was so slow. And then they upgraded it, and so, like, at, out of, um, when, when they, when it, like, went into it for the first time, I'm like, my biofeedback is completely messed up. It doesn't lurch anymore when it starts and stops, and also it's faster. I have no idea what to expect from this elevator anymore. What have you done? Oh, I mean, there we go. Ah, I need to find a way to play this. Girl, we have a way to play eight, eight gigabytes. <laughs> what? I have no bite. Is it, what? Oh my god. Um, eight eight gigabytes done. on a three and a half inch floppy. You expect? It me wasn't to a floppy. That? It's um, it's an SD card. That what that's supposed? Yeah. Why is it so big? It's it's I don't know. <laughs> That is a three and a half inch floppy masquerading as an SD card. I did that. I already, I already looked at all that. Okay, I've done, I've done all. I like this. how this is telling you how to defeat biometric uh, safety. And you know uh, what? That controls. feels. That honestly just feels like something that he would just be interested in. Mason's just yeah. like, I would like to know. He's studying for, no, for security plus. For no nefarious purposes, he just would like to know. <laughs> no, there is it's a really zip disk though. in um, uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. We use a zip disk. Yeah. And I fucking love it. It's hilarious. Um, oh, this isn't where I wanted to go, but let's talk to him. What do you want? Oh my god, so there's so much stuff to say. The log says that one additional person entered the lab the night Nico died. I know. The question is, how do you know? Police, police report. report. What I don't yeah, understand is definitely why didn't the police didn't follow myself. up on it. They did. <laughs> Said it was a glitch. Why do you guys do you believe oh. that? What's it matter what I believe? It only matters what they believe. Damn. Because I'm asking what you believe, sir. What do you think of Ellie? What did you say all these questions were for again? I'm gathering information for a potential new owner. Your questions say different. Say you're lying. I mean, I I'm need to know about my potential thorough. employees. Then leave me alone. Thoroughly alone. Damn, buddy. Oh, ejected. Take a drink if you're playing the drinking game. I am drinking champagne tonight because <laughs> I'm feeling fancy. As you should. Sup, buddy? Yeah. I look very fancy on the thumbnail for, for these VODs. Yeah. Oh, for people who don't know, let me let me pause this real quick. Um, I'll open a picture so everyone can see. Yes. Um, because I, I enjoy what I've done here. I want to use it with like, there's now that thing going around like me versus animated me. And I want to use it for that. <laughs> I'm totally going to use one of the other pictures I took. Cause I took four for Risa to, um, reference from, and it's basic. They asked me to be, you know, curious and inquisitive, and it's just me getting progressively more concerned as the photos go on. <laughs> um, what would this be capturing right now? Yeah. So, there. That's what I- ooh, <laughs> There we go. That's what I drew for, for people yeah. watching. Nicole the Pickle, we met through Dr. Husband. I was in classes with Dr. Husband, yeah. and then one of our uh, mutual friends and coworkers came to my door one day and was like, you're playing Star Wars D&D &D with us on Wednesday. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah, that's pretty much what so happened. So that was how I met Risa in particular. But yeah, basically yeah. we met through Dr. Husband. Yeah. We suffered together. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, um, Dr. He's Husband. A lot. Dr. Husband, you know, shaking yeah. his head. <laughs> he he uh, took a lot of this. He started the same at the same time that you did. Yep. Right? Yeah. So you guys were yeah, all so in we... your actual PhD classes together, which he yeah, didn't we, have to we, take we as many because he already had his master's degree. So yeah. he got to say peace out after <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> After after our first nightmare guy, oh. which he literally spent like 15 minutes arguing with me over the solution to a problem that I had looked up. And finally, Dr. Husband went through the rest of the textbook, was like, 
That's the solution in the textbook, sir. Wasn't he the one who was literally living out of his car for part of it? Yes. And he just was yes. like, I don't sleep anymore. Um, it yeah. was That's and what adjuncts spend, are like, like. Yep. And would spend 20 minutes standing in front of the bookcase going, I know it. there's a book in here that talks about what I'm going to talk about. And I don't remember what it's about. And I don't remember who wrote it. And I don't remember what it looks like. But I know I saw it in here. And it was like. Oh God! And then I started like having absent seizures, and it just made everything worse. I, I, I would imagine. To fix this. How is it broken? I need to find a way to fix this. I don't remember it being broken. Can I just put this in? I need to find a way to fix this. How is okay, it broken? Nancy. Still have to do that. I don't understand. See the knocked out gray memes. I don't think uh, so. They're they're very much Tumblr. Um, yeah, I don't, I've never been on Tumblr, and I am not on Tumblr now. <laughs> I'm actually super far removed from the um, Clue Crew on Tumblr now, because it just got really weird. The vibes changed. Um, yeah, okay, this is all super weird. Why, what do I do to fix it? Can't remember. I don't remember, says our favorite amnesiac. Um, I, I don't know why, but Secret of the Scarlet Hand is the one that I just, like, all of those lines are burned into my head with the intonation. Like, <laughs> who knows? Why don't you ask Henrik about that? I don't remember. <laughs> That's the way he says it. You're asking the wrong amnesiac. I don't remember. That's what he says. That's what, exactly what he sounds like. It's yeah. ridiculous. Okay. I apologize. I don't know how- We're just how carrying to... around capacitors in our pockets, oh god. Yeah, why not? We're just, oh god. We just stole a bunch of shit. <laughs> That's just what it's like. It did have weird acting. Yeah, really... And I yeah, think it's a it lot did. of people's first game. It wasn't our first game. Ariana and I played uh, fully through Treasure and Royal Tower first. But um, it's the one that came with- The yeah, one that the came monolith, with- yeah. um, uh, it, it was in, like, two different double packs we bought. So it came with Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake uh, when we bought it, and it came with um, Final... No, it wasn't Final Scene. Um, it was one other one that it came with as well. And it was so, and then it came with a three-pack we bought. So we had three copies of Secret of the Scarlet Hand <laughs> for no reason. Um, and that's fine, though, because in one of them ended up in a box that the cat peed in. <laughs> I miss that cat, but I don't miss her peeing on everything. She yeah. peed on one of my laptops once. Um, I want those bookcases in Nico's office. I know. I right? have no place for them, but I want them. I just wanted to hit the alarm. Uh, I already found the the one that was in the. Um, I already found the one that was in Nancy's room. I thought. Oh, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna go snoop, because why not? Hmm. Yeah, the, the Schrodinger's cat is alive in the box. There's literally the undergraduate quantum physics textbook that pretty much everyone uses is, like, the only place where I've ever really seen that joke used. Um, and it's the covers. On the front cover is a picture of an alive cat, and the back picture, hmm. the back cover is a picture of a what is supposed to be the dead cat it's a sleeping cat um so it's not like disturbing or anything but it's just like a wake cat snoozing cat so you can make the schrodinger's cat joke or you can be like this is the life of a student Duh. i am um, a wake cat i am sleep cat no you're right i just didn't see it ah thank you for the tip we're just missing the head now one so we have two front legs, one back leg, the body. So I'm still missing the head and a back leg. That's fine. We're just going to pee because why not? Nancy also, you know, carrying around a dismembered robotic cat. That's what you do, you know? I mean, a bag of holding. to be fair, if I was like going around on this case and I was told, that I could put together a robot cat, I would be like, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> just picture of Tesla in the in He's the just chilling. Room, like, 
I would honestly be so disturbed hmm. by just the clear obsession Can with I... a man who was catastrophically weird. Can I just talk to Ellie now? Is, is she here strange. again? Or is she still trying to figure out what happened in the lab? <laughs> if not, I'll just go to sleep, but... Um, I just kind of feel like trying to talk. That was the wrong way, Risa. God. Tiny Tesla coil in a cabinet. Yeah, she's Hello. back. Hey, how's it going? How bad are relations between Tesla's you love and for Mason? Mason is equal to Nico's love for Tesla. Yeah, kind of. Bad. He <laughs> might be the only one who wouldn't. Duh. They're not great. I get the impression that you two hate each other. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. <laughs> that's a, that's a coping mechanism, good, and I understand that, people. however. But Mason flashes that smug smile of his, and every rage center of my brain releases all of its hate Mason chemicals. Wish that valid the truth, but it is. I think Mason Sometimes probably does just... that to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Some people just have that, you know, kind of punchable smile that you just like, I need to knock Mason it off your face. Like you very it happens. Much. Yeah, it does. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. Yeah. Who else was here? I would say yes, except die. I don't notice when people Great. are puppy dogging around me all it. the time. Um, I'm catastrophically bad at noticing that. Why do so, and work opposite? I schedules? literally okay. Give me a sec. I literally on Twitter the other day brought up. Um, I was so oblivious when I was working at Michael's. Um, this was I was twenty one, and uh, some one of my coworkers was like, "Hey, Risa, do you want to? My friend is having a bonfire. Do you want to come with me?" And <laughs> my brain was like, "Cool, new friends." Yeah. So I said yes. So would be my brain. And so then I went home and I was telling um, Andrew about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. He's like, Risa, you realize that's a date, right? <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, yeah, that's that not... he invited you on a date. And I was like, I was so lost in the idea. Of, I was going to make new friends. And so I had to <laughs> and But the main thing was he's like, oh, can I have your number so I can text you like where we are? And I was like, Sure. So yeah. I I that is how oblivious I am to people like I being have interested had three in three separate people end up being like, I'm in love with you. And I'm like, I Why? don't figure it out until right before they say something. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, I know where this conversation is going. However, the years of the pattern that I should have seen leading up to this moment, I completely miss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, awkward that. Yeah. But yeah, but also why? I don't I'm understand. A <laughs> any other I'm reason? a night Ellie. And as a good southern girl, I know if you don't have anything good to say, you keep it zipped. Like this. Okay, well, did you I like Nico? Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. <laughs> other than Gray. well liked? No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. He was too much of a scientist. Yeah. Okay. See, um, like, they say the same thing about, like, Hawkeye in M.A.S.H., which is very funny to me because I will never not be convinced that Benjamin Franklin Hawkeye Pierce is not a romantic. <laughs> I'm convinced that he is. Um, he is not asexual. That man, that man has people? sexual attraction. But hard I, I just romantic. thought you were going to say that man fucks. <laughs> I mean, that man, like, it's literally <laughs> canon. You see it happening as much as you can see it on a 1970s TV show. That man fucks. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really it was like when you look at Alan Alda and you're like, that guy? Of us. <laughs> really? People were to be studied. Yeah, she's frozen because I keep wanted. I keep clicking off so that I can talk. Um, <laughs> that's why it's frozen. Sorry. She just sits there and at stares at us awkwardly. How it was. Oh, I'm not listening to what she's saying at all. Mm -hmm. You said Nico yeah, was too much of a scientist. What did you mean by that? He was a romantic, Nancy. I think, but I. Okay. And he was Take also Nancy, in love with Greg. Example. Yeah. He lives his life True. the way I work. How so? In all of the ways. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. 
<laughs> See, like this, they definitely think they're writing an OCD character. With That's that. not like, how OCD like works. Weird. What they think they're doing. It'd be Mason. What it comes down to is, I'm 20%. Mason, maybe 60. Nico was 100% a scientist. Uh, this is a weird... I know so many scientists, no. and very no. few of them uh, act like this at all. He was a Rose, she was ace, what more can I say? <laughs> <laughs> God. I just... Yeah. But yeah, this this is like that trope that everybody has about scientists, right? Yeah, like, scientists oh, we're so robots. like wrapped up in our work and you know, like we don't we don't need people. And it's like, yeah, we do. Even my Aero Ace ass really kinda likes having friends. Yeah. Like I mean... I'm just saying. And also science never happens in a vacuum, and this is the other misconception. No way would Nico be able to get done as much as he gets done working literally by himself. This yeah. is all collaborative. But that's now. the thing, is the, that we know that he was going genius. through he was going through other people's files. So he wasn't working alone, but yeah, he wasn't but trying still, to like, include them. Yeah, this like myth of the lone genius that does like it didn't happen back the then and it definitely Did doesn't happen now. We just anyone? communicate more easily. Don't think so really. Nico has Tesla. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. It's true. I mean... Nico writes Tesla fan fiction. Or did. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. That reminds he's me. Got, he's, got an un, he's got an unfinished fic left on AO3, and everyone is just super upset that they're never going to get the ending now. Um. So, sorry. It reminded me. Um, R.I.P. I was, I was doing some, like, personal writing. Not something that's ever going to see the light of day. But I was like, I was talking about, and my mom and her, and her father, may he rot in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes you gotta say it. You know. That's what I say about my uncle. Yeah, there's some, there's some people where you're like, the world is better off without them in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but every time I'm like, except this every guy's time still in it. I see, um, I see like discourse on Twitter about people with PhDs being called doctor. I think of my biological grandfather who got his doctorate in uh, theology. Oh, and boy. then he um, proceeded to, every time anyone tried to address him as anything, he would say, it's doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That he was the ultimate, like, even when it wasn't a necessary part of the conversation, that's what he would say. Mm -hmm. From what I hear, I never met the man, thankfully. <laughs> so, thankfully. And now he's his dead. Just never melts. No, of course not. Which is how you know it's definitely not Colorado. Who's there? Yeah, because yeah, this would be gone within like three days. Especially off Hello? of like the satellite dish. That satellite dish isn't being used, we can tell because the snow is still on it. Who was that? I literally do not remember this part. Yeah, who was that? Does that ever get answered? Is that something we like? Do stress bang head here. Repeat as necessary. Very accurate. We would they have do. That. They do actually sell that on their Teespring. As a it's poster. a very old joke. Yes, it is. I don't understand how they can sell that, like legally speaking, because they didn't like invent it. Yeah, but... they didn't invent it, but I think it's one of those things that is just so ubiquitous that it kind of becomes public domain. Yeah. So that's probably how. Ooh, I want that coat rack too. What's oh, it looked at DNA model. I mean, I'm I'm digging this picture up here, the, yeah. the galaxy. But what is it doing and in like, here? Why is it in a built-in cabinet? Like it's That's, important. That is very important. So the, we, the I actually is, love this shelf. Sims. It like, is. It came with eco lifestyle. It's, it's an eco lifestyle, yeah. I fucking love this. <laughs> actually, that plant that's on it also makes me think of one of the Sims plants, but it's a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you would have to shrink it down. I love all of these hanging plants up here, though, in this skylight. Fantastic. Yes, definitely something that we would do. We've got this skylight here. Why don't we grow that plants? Is, in? That is very cute. I kind of wish, Isn't however. That? I wish, however, it also had diamonds and clubs, because it looks like it, it kind of does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Time to talk Challenge. to Ryan. I think build build technology for tomorrow today in The Sims. Hmm. I mean, this office. You could probably do that, like with the Star Wars pack and all the like grungy looking stuff. Yeah. You could probably just like do I this could, place. I would. I would trust that to you. Um, yeah. I'm not very good at venues. As we all know. <laughs>
Yeah, and I'm, I'm okay at venues. I, I can build things based of off of real life, so that's what Hi. I'm okay at. Um, Do you know how I can play a media card? Sure. Yeah, Nico's personal player. I meant to fix it earlier. Will you fix it Get now? Get some Coco Mellas from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How Let's play Simon. Work? Here. Well, what do you do, Nancy, is you get a Thanks. large, heavy object and you smash it into the glass. Mason says the man he is dead. What's he gonna do? The cat because you hit it. Is that true? It was so Make this office. Fuzzy little freak ball had it coming. <sighs> I, I mean, agree, Ryan. I like it. I think it's cute. It's not a demon cat like Suki. Suki, tate. Sorry, every single well, time I think of Suki, I have to. That plays in my head. It's true. Yeah, you have to. It's, <laughs> you gotta yes, wrap your fist in a sh shirt and then punch it. Exactly. Do you know how I can get the little <laughs> Tesla coil in the lab to work? Not that I'm in the lab. The circuit board is shot. You seem like you know. Yeah, what's she's up. not at all concerned with the fact that we get unauthorized <laughs> access to the lab. You need in the photo lab. Uh, okay, bye. You, bye. You, if they let you have access to the lab, you can definitely have access to these highly corrosive chemicals and just etch a silicon wafer. Yeah. Suki having hair was kind of a mistake. I it agree. was just weird. Suki is, is a then demon you, like, cat. You get so close to the uncanny valley once you start doing that that it's like, please don't. Office. So it's just, do you remember those little robotic like puppies and cats? <laughs> Yes. That were like made out of plastic yes, in the I had, like, early 2000s. Um, God, what was it called? It wasn't the big one, but I had one that looked it and I could make it play like classical music. Yeah. God, which one was that? It was like oh, all let me look. it was all gray and it looked like it could like kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she wants the Coco Mallows. No, 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 I don't want new stuff, Amazon. I want, I want the shit from like the early 2000s. Okay, Come on. let's do this. Okay, guys, sorry about this. This is gonna be loud and I don't like it. Hmm, it looks like a memory lock. Oh my god. <laughs> I did it! Okay. Coco Mallows. Kitties, apparently is Just what they the were called. One. What were they called? Techno kitties? Techno with a K? Um, give me one second, y'all. I have to- I have to look at this. Um... No. There's a link in the chat too. Um, there's there's multiple different kind models. of like what mine was, but mine was a dog. Oh, yours was a dog, so it's probably Techno Dog. Uh, Techno the robotic puppy. Mm, no, that one looks too good. I think I had like the off-brand version of that one. I remember. Maybe Wikipedia talks about it. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, there were so many. Um, so there was Techno the Robotic Puppy, Techno the Robotic Kitten, Polly the Techno Parrot, Rex and Steg fighting Techno Dinosaurs, battling Techno Saber Scarab, um, Jesus. Boomer, Mac, Mac the Robotic Fish, Roscoe the Robotic Frog, Flash the Robotic Turtle. Do not tell me that, um, uh, Kamakichi-kun would not have had a, <laughs> uh, robotic turtle friend. Uh, Techno the Robotic Pony, Sakura um, Best Friend Robot, um, Techno Mega, oh my god, there are so many, Techno Robotic Toucan, alright, that's it, go home. Go home, we have fat, we have, that is enough internet for today. Um, <laughs> is it Pucci? Let me look. Is it... No, you can't do this um, without pictures! A second. Wikipedia, oh, you failed me! It wasn't Pucci. 
But that one does look very familiar. I have to, apparently I have to figure this out. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna Google like knock off Techno Kitty. <laughs> um, God. I wish I could just like. Here, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna image search now. <laughs> oh, oh, I found it. Um, God. What is this one called, though? It doesn't say. It's a Pinterest image. Fuck. Ugh, Pinterest, why? No, apparently this one is the Techno the Robotic Puppy, is what it says. But it's, it doesn't look like the one... It's just a different model. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, with the kitty, there were a lot of different models. Like, in yeah. the link in the chat, you can see how many different models there were. So it's probably a similar thing with the puppy. There were just a ton of different models of yeah. the puppy. So, the one There's that probably, I like, had... like, newborn and... I wonder oh if maybe that God. website just, like, says. The one I had was... Yeah, I'm gonna, post, no dog. It the, I'm gonna go. post it in the chat. That's the one oh, I had. There were, there were so many. <laughs> That's the one I had. Yay! That is exactly... Yes. Yes. So now kinda everyone knows like that. Kind of looks like an ATSD. It does, AT though. Yeah, ATAT. But, um, but I mean, kind of technically both. They kind of both had similar legs. But yeah. Yeah, that's sorry. Way off track. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Anyway, you know, that blast from the past, that is that is what we're assembling. We're assembling a techno the robotic kitty. Yes, we 100 percent are. Oh, my God. That just, like, I remember bringing it with me to sleep over at my grandma's house and sitting in her room. Or she gave it for me for my birthday and I was spending the night that night and I remember trying, like, I had, like, the instruction manual out and trying all the different things I could do and I accidentally <laughs> got it to play music and I was like, what the fuck? Except I was, like, nine, so <laughs> I didn't say fuck. Techno Hi. Puppy, the deadly device. There's I would watch that wanted. movie. That sounds like a sci-fi channel original, and I'll I would watch it. it right now. Thank you, Ryan. You are so nice. So, so okay. sweet. I'm going to steal this Doink. weird robotic cat head off your desk. Yeah, that way you don't have to deal Which with it anymore. Way, way, way too clean. Although the fact that it's built out of spare parts is honestly very accurate. Also, this not? tool, it's that's way too empty. What? What I? Well, it's empty because she hasn't put any of them back. I mean, yes, but see, what happens then is that you don't put them back, so you buy new tools, and then it is always full, just never of the tool that you actually need, because you just keep buying sets. But you only ever use the 3 8 inch wrench, so the 3 8 inch hmm. always disappears. But you can't just go buy a 3 8 inch. You have to go buy the whole set. So you end up with a bunch of, like, 1-inch wrenches that you never use. Yeah. I'm just making sure that that's that... done. Um, still have, haven't, still haven't done, haven't done, can't check that off yet. I guess I'm supposed to call Dance. Deirdre. <laughs> I uh. guess. Fine, let's call our girlfriend. Yeah. She's not quite our girlfriend yet. We don't date until Midnight in Salem. Well, yeah, but, like, come on. <laughs> Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. Call your girlfriend, she Risa. Might be trying to avoid ending Call your girlfriend, Risa. Security logs. I mean, I don't think your girlfriend would like it if that isn't her name, but... Take her in a fair fight. What kind of question is that? Yeah, you know, your, your consenting relationships and all that. I mean, if you, you want to call them certain Risa, she's guilty. I mean... If, if they're cool with it, I mean, you know, make sure you have a safe word and everything, kids. <laughs> hey, you read up on call me by your name, Deirdre. I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still I mean, today. it sounds so like the alibi stands up, it couldn't be he her. just did it to himself. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something. Yeah, that's weird that's really what it seems thing. to be like steering well, don't towards. Keep me right? in suspense. Figure this out. 
I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much <laughs> mute. I'm undercover I'm here. I can't push too hard. Sex thing, so whoops. Can you see you know what? On your end? I wouldn't know I'll anyway. So, but you know, the safe word is a sex thing, and I already said it, so it's fine. Okay, bye, Deirdre. I guess I should also call Victor. Mm, no, I don't if want by Victor, to. Victor, you mean Jeff Bridges. Sorry, I apologize. I called him by the wrong name. I'm not going to call Jeff Bridges because I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't want to. honestly completely valid. I agree. Huge Wait. missed opportunity by the voice actress, actor to just try to sound like Jeff Bridges. Like, just do it. If you're going to go there, go all the way. Hey. I want that, like, you look Celtic not force thing she has. Someone I moved want it. my things. Someone will pay. He always just looks so cute afterwards. Like, mm, yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's like he knows. He's like, and I he know it was you. Reminds me of um one of the kids who was in my program last year. <laughs> That's he, he looks like one of my ex-boyfriends, not the one who got in a car crash in 2008, <laughs> but one that I had before. I I do, I want that wall hanging. Um, but yeah, like just like the texture of his hair and like the shape of his face and yeah. stuff. It is from Castle Malloy at the gate. That's the tile puzzle that I had to do. Oh yeah, I still want it. I wonder if they sell it. <laughs> they might. Seems like something they should sell. Yeah, if they right? don't, or at least a t-shirt with it on it. Hey, are you back? Oh no, I wanted to talk to you. Ryan, Maybe, don't leave us. You know, I love the existence of that like weird medieval door. Yeah, why not? It's just like, we could have a better door, but you know, why would we? Well, we probably should install a fire rated door. It's solid steel. Yeah, fine. Hey. Ta-da, it's fixed, I guess. Okay, time sure. to listen to something that I don't care about, but I gotta listen to him for reasons. It's Wednesday. Uh. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I found another note from Ryan on my door. Okay, this like, make sure you this enter that as mod time, time so that you get she paid for it. <laughs> she's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by she's the She's smarter than she looks. And handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. Okay, good to know. <laughs> the coil as is. It's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. Okay. I've got schematics. The proper for flow of prototype. what? But maybe that step isn't. They possible. don't know. The math is solid. They really the do not. Experiments are running at an efficiency. Like, are you not getting enough amps? Are you not getting enough design. joules? What do you want, sir? He, he just he just wants to talk. <laughs> I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear. Yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe what do you time think Gray's going to do? Are, are you trusting Gray to, like, anyway. put content filters on the Wi-Fi? Is Gray... Is is Gray just, like, going to rough him up or something? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to get my boyfriend on it. I'm finding Sick my boyfriend on you. More time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind. Just go to sleep, dude. Doesn't make Buddy. sense. Buddy. Finding none. I think it sounds it time like for medication. It sounds like maybe he was self-medicating with something else. <laughs> yeah. Did that? Yeah. Done By that. the way, weed wasn't legal in Colorado yet. Oh, uh, that's not what I'm saying. Still, 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 still have to do that. Uh, the preferred thing for this kind of person is misusing Adderall, um, or, uh, meth, yeah. And this was, uh, I think by this time, Sudafed was behind the counter in Colorado, because for reference, Colorado did have a massive meth problem it's for a long so time. It's so pretty in the daytime. I forget about that. Okay. How do, it's what so am I supposed to do nothing. about the thing? Um, I'm supposed to make a circuit board in here, right? Yeah, yeah a new circuit board for the small Tesla coil. Okay, it tells Hopefully me... they have saved that in a file that says small Tesla coil. Okay, um... If, if... Ryan was a sim, what would her personality be? Hmm. Um, geek. Nerd brain aspiration, I think, is probably the closest. Because, like, tech guru doesn't work. She's too, she's too into, like, the practical... So I think nerd brain. 
Okay, well, um, I have another document now. <laughs> so that's yeah, cool. Geek. Um, Etching solution in the tank. It's two. Goofball. Oh, the image. Tr I don't know what the image is. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I what what do I need for that? Did I did think... she give us something? No? I don't think so. Hmm. See, Ryan said something about it, and now <laughs> I can't remember. I wasn't paying enough attention. She might not have. She totally did. Hint. You'll need to create the circuit design first. Thank you. That was sure. that was helpful. It seems like a CAD file that should have been saved, but whatever. Um, wait, is that something I do on someone's computer? Probably. Is that, I just is don't that know who's. here? No, it's not here. It's <sighs> it's probably somewhere. I, I, if anyone was gonna tell me what it was, where it was, I would, I wouldn't be mad. Um, I'm gonna try practicing aggregation for a while though, so we have some time. Um, let's try it. We're gonna, we're gonna save the game. Yeah, and I then... think Ryan as a sim, like geek, goofball, and I think maker. Oh with yeah, the definitely. Nerd brain aspiration. That's that's um... what I'm going with. Play. Okay. That let's... woman has a 3D printer in her house, and we all know it. Sure does. I wish I didn't have to do this. <laughs> I just, I hate this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sup, Clue Crew. Um... Welcome to the party. I think Ryan would have model kits. I think Ryan definitely has Legos. Uh, it's Lego, not Legos. Gosh. Oh, well, pardon me. You're excused. <laughs> <laughs> um. Bam, bam. I did this wrong again. I Is that still the plural for like multiple shit. models? Um, it's Lego sets. Lego sets, okay. Um, and then Lego bricks. Well, mother... I'm sure it stands for something, but I don't know what it is. No, it doesn't. Does it not? No. I, f I always figured it was an acronym. Nope. For something that I didn't know because I was a child the last time I even tried Legos. Lego. <laughs> I just live with um, a Lego fan, so. It's, yes, you do. <laughs> I, sh I sure do. <sighs> okay. Um... I, I just basically know them as the thing that I would build boxes out of, and that was it, because we had a, we had just a box of loose Lego bricks um, when I was a kid. No yeah. actual sets. And so it was like, they are literally just Legos because there is like nothing to do with them. Yeah, we had um, one of those just like boxes of them. Um, we had some of, of Duplos as well. Yeah. Oh my God, I hate this. Lego is an abbreviation of a Latin phrase. Oh my god. I don't think that is true. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Legot looks more German to me anyway. Um, honestly. Also, it's all whatchamacallit. You know, whatchamacallit. That makes sense, Risa. <laughs> hate my life. I hate this game. Okay, Danish makes more sense. Yeah, it's yeah. there. It's a Danish system, so yeah, Danish would make more sense than Latin, just based on the spelling. I really... by the time you're like putting D's and T's next to each other, let yeah, especially to end a word. Seems I less like a honestly, thing to do. 
hate this life right now. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Yeah, throw out a podcast idea topic. I'll just speak for you on your own podcast. <laughs> Valid. Um, honestly. I hate this game. Just so much. <laughs> There's nothing I can do here that I enjoy. Everything I do is just hell. Everything I do. Sorry. I mean, not not that sorry. A because... little sorry, but not sorry enough. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I mean, you, we we don't watch that movie for anything other than Alan Rickman Ooh. chewing the scenery and Morgan Freeman rolling his eyes. Whew. Now we get to the actual <laughs> difficult shit. Fantastic. Nice. Gay stars. I love it. Are the stars gay? They, they were rainbow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on here? What does this mean? I hate everything. I hate this stupid game. I hate... Nancy, I hate being bad at this. Now, Risa, how do you really feel about aggregation? <laughs> <laughs> this is even funnier for me, by the way, because I can't, like, watch the stream along with it because it's about, you know, between three and five seconds behind. So I just hear incoherent wailing on the other side of the call. I mean, uh, I mean, like I can see the game in real time, but I hate not, this not life. Lisa. I hate this. <laughs> You're gone. Okay. I was gonna say, just put the gay star somewhere. It's fine. Oh, it's happening. The gay star is the light of my life. Um, <laughs> sure. Why the fuck not? Um podcast about characters from different games or characters who don't meet and would be friends with each other or what you think their relationships would be like. Like, who would Hilda from Danger on Deception Island be friends with or talk to? Hmm. Cross-game compatibility. Oh, that'd be fun. Um... No, Risa! You... dum dum. <laughs> Okay, well. I did that at least. We're getting somewhere. Good news is this I can just do like that. We got that out of the way. Oh my god, Risa. What is wrong with you? Hmm. How do I even make this work? Yeah, because all, all my ideas are just going to walk you closer and closer to that edge. But then again, it's like, do we have a choice? Maybe not. Okay, we're going to do that just to get that out of the way and then that to get that out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There nice. are 25 levels of this. Can I save in between levels? Yes. I hate this life. Like, gonna be gonna be real with you right now. I hate this. Up, <laughs> up, I'm actually gonna mm. scooch that down here because it 
actually. We can just do it like... Oh, no, that was dumb. That's fine. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes, you just gotta be not very smart. And, you know... Yeah, that works, though. It works. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, levels... New high score! Awesome! I gotta keep going! <laughs> what does the green square mean? We're saving oh. it every level, by the way. Um... Oh, it has to be cleared twice. Gotcha! Uh, um... Everyone disliked that. I know, right? <laughs> Um, oh, shoot. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. We're getting somewhere. Um, so I'm going to do that. That. Um, I'm kind of making plans here. I want everyone to realize that. I I am at the stage where I am almost able to strategize. Um, okay. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Mm. That wasn't very smart. Risa, that wasn't very cash money of you. Um, sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I can just... I'm gonna do that. So I can get mm -hmm. that in here. Um... We did it. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Thank you for the follow. While I'm doing this, just <sighs> doing this riveting gameplay right here of saving every level so we can, this is just going to uh, save. Yeah. Thank you. I was going to say, chat, Let's... just start spamming Thanks, save. Thanks, <laughs> gemstoned. Save. I know that some people are um, holding out on their points in case that I do a before the storm chat decides. <laughs> I, I have zero fears. I have 186,000 channel points. Because <laughs> I Valid. have to be here. I mean, I don't have to be here, but also, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not going to allow the situation that caused you to mod me to happen again. Huh. <gasps> Because now I have a ban hammer and I don't have to sit here and continually insult, uh, you know, creepy transphobes to uh, keep them away from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep your attention off the sisters and on me, you sickos. You do it like... Hmm. Oh yeah, the conversation things in Before the Storm are very stressful. I haven't even played it. I just watched it. I was stressed just looking at it. Fuck. I did it again. Mm. Oops. I did it again. <laughs> yeah. This is what you get from me. You came for you the know, PhD physicist. You stayed for the bad Twitch Sings. That's fine. Twitch Sings, I, I got an email about it. They're like, it's shutting down. And I was like, I know. We know. And whose you told fault us. is that? Yeah. Um, I see people now going like, it's like the song rights. It's like, no, it's not. It's them writing a bad game. What is the best strategy in this situation? I feel like mm. using the star helps. Yes, because I can now do this and then this. So that did help, yeah. in fact. Um, let's try this. Um, just 
just trying to figure out what is the best way to yeah. do this. So next one's blue. Yeah. So. Right up, just doing that. Okay. Okay, okay. So. <laughs> I'm just not very good at this kind of game, is my main issue. No, any game that that demands that I, like, plan multiple steps ahead, I'm always bad at. So I kind of want to do, because I have two of these blues, right? Mm -hmm. I want to do something that will be able to stop the blues. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you could take that yellow and block off at the end of the turquoise. Yeah, that was the plan. And then, yeah, do that. Yeah, that helps. Um, the next one's going to be green. So I kind of want it to come from this side then. Or up here. So actually... Yeah, either one of those would be easier, yeah. I might do this and then this, because that helps me out, and then that. Um, yeah. Um, I kind of want to put this here. Like, I really want to get rid of it like that, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh. That's good. Say, yeah. There, we got that. Um, eh. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Um, oh. We'll just. I do this and this. Ah, shit. I didn't think that. Mm. I did not think that one through. That's okay. Because I could do this. And then we do this, this, this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, that can go away. Um God, we still have some hangling. Hangling! That's my new word. <laughs> hangling. So you English. It makes as yeah. much sense as any other word. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes. Oh, we fucking did <laughs> this shit. We have so many fucking things left. <gasps> Save that shit. Yeah, I hate, I hate this life. I hate this life. What does the bomb have... do? Probably destroys all adjacent tiles, would be my guess. It does. Yeah, it clears all adjacent tiles. Okay, okay. Interesting. And also clears the, like, is the first clear on the uh, square, Ooh. green squares. So that's nice. That is nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, um, nice. Oh, I have that. That guy can do here. Bam. Yes. Um, hmm. I would really like that purple out of the way. Yeah. However, that purple is like... Uh, Watch this, though. Bam. Pew! Yes, yes. Okay, this was actually a really easy level. 
nice. I think this might be the furthest I've ever gotten in aggregation. So. Okay. Um, What flare is SM sombrero? Is that what that's supposed to be? What? There's a new flare for dressing up our emotes. SM. Snowman. Okay. Snowman. I guess that makes that more makes sense, sense for winter. That makes sense. Okay. We're oh just my god, I can make it into a reindeer. Uh, we can oh, I can that snow. Out. Oh, I like the snowflake one. Nice. Um, Snow wine man. Yes. No, that's a... So... I used to get them at the Renaissance Festival back when we could go outside. Um, but you'd also find them the sometimes times. at like different indoor fairs, these wine slushies. And um, it was literally just a mix that you could pour like any type of wine or some of them like were better with vodka, which is terrifying. Obviously, you used less vodka, but you would basically just like dump a whole bottle of wine in and you would freeze it and it would make a slushy. Um, and they were delicious, and I still have some mixes that I need. I still have, like, a bottle of white wine sitting in the back, like, cheap white wine sitting in the back of my fridge so I can make a slushy one day. And they, they have now edited their instructions to tell you how to do um, single serving. Because originally <laughs> they, were, they were made to just, like, dump in a one-gallon freezer bag because it was easier. Yeah. Um, but then they were like, oh, not everybody, like, really wants to do that. Um, cause then you have to store it. So they have since edited their instructions to be like, yeah, you can do this with like one cup servings. So this is how you do it. Um, and they are very tasty and I have milkshake, uh, straws that mean I can, you know, consume it easily without just having slushy in my face. <laughs> they are delicious. They would always have, um, samples to give that, you know, were made with just grape juice, obviously. Um, cause they didn't even card you to you know give you a sample but it's for the taste of the beverage anyway and they were always fun they they would sell that and they would sell for some reason at the same booth they always had special bread cutting knives which it's like sell stuff that mixes in with alcohol and then also sell sharp pointy objects this seems smart this is yeah, a thing course. you should do oh my god this life <laughs> there's just so many yellows yeah which is okay except yeah that's fine yeah that works yeah yeah boom i'd like to see you fucking beat my score now mason yeah, Mason. Oh, we're only at 11 out of 25. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> it's We're like gonna, this is gonna be the rest of the stream. Uh, if anyone was like, wondering. Um, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now we can bam, see what we're doing. Bam. Bam. There we go. Um, I was like, that's not gonna. That's just not, <laughs> just gonna, not work. gonna do that, yeah. Okay. Oh, if only you were down there, purple. I know, right? Oh, that was an idiot. Rookie mistake, Risa. <laughs> Rookie mistake. See, it's not going to go through there. Um, however, if I do it like that and like that, it does. Yeah. Um, I really don't want orange to be on this side, though. Yeah. I'd rather orange be on this side, I think. And then... Bam, like that. Yeah. How can I do this? Okay, we're gonna do... Hmm. So, yellow would be fine. 
working from. What I'm going to do is do it here. Um, get rid of these fucking purples, finally. Yeah, there we go. That... Go. Go. Wow, I'm just racking up explosives. Yeah, trying to figure out how I want to use them, though. Obviously, that guy I can't use it on. This guy I can. Oh, I really want. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting so much better at this. <laughs> I hope <laughs> you guys were like, you know what I want to do today? I want to watch someone play aggregation. Absolutely. That's what you got. Um. Why? What? Oh dear. What just made a beeping noise like that? Did we always have that question mark thingy there before? Yeah. Okay. Is that what beep? Cloner counts oh, down I and then makes yeah, a copy trying to of tell itself. You what... Okay. Whatever this. I don't know what that is. I don't know why. I think I think it will duplicate once it counts down. I mean that's that's not something I really care about. I don't think. Oh, okay. At just, just a random, at a random place. Spot. Oh. oh, we don't like that. Um, I just have nothing I can do about it right now. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, I don't... Oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Behave that way. So... I'm gonna put some green here so that I can do that, and then I can do yes. that. Um... God, that's gonna be hell um, to get... That's okay. Um, damn. I'm just not very smart sometimes. Um, <laughs> God damn it. It's not uh... what I meant to do. However, um, let's do this guy. Like that. Yeah, that works. Um, I'm making so many mistakes. And that's that on that. <laughs> There's so much that I've learned. Don't make my mistakes. <laughs> it's a very uh, niche, you know, 2010s Christian rock reference. Because <laughs> that's my history. Um, to get to this guy, I need this to come from. We're going to do this. Quick. Finally. There we go. Um. Um. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. 
Um, yeah. That's what I wanted to do, honestly. I'm such a, I'm not very good at this. I usually just hand this over to Ariana. <laughs> That's what this puzzle is to me. I'm like, this is an Ariana puzzle. So. <sighs> We're just doing shit now. It's yep. just, it's just happening. Um, ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Rude. I'm just trying to think. Um. Uh, uh, almost did the wrong one. Nice. Shit, that wouldn't work. Um, but this does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're we're doing something here. Um, this is just gonna kill me. Yeah, that's okay. Finally. Nice. <laughs> Why did you think we come here? Uh, I guess it's to watch my misery. <laughs> okay. I think that's why everyone comes oh, to Twitch. Oh, God. Okay. But look at all these bombs we yep. have to play with. I'm just... <laughs> I was just like, Get rid of that. Yep. not happening. Um, that's so close. <laughs> Oh, that so kills close. me. Okay. So close. So close and yet so far. I adored you. Never let me. I adored you. And see, I was also going with it's all so close and I yet so far. I see myself as people see me. <laughs> because honestly, if I ever like default to like montage songs, it is honestly Disney's Tarzan. Valid. That is that is the superior Tarzan adaptation, and that is just a fact. I kind of need Because if to. you read the original <gasps> no! book, it is <laughs> The original book is genuine racist trash. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> How are you? Reese is just in mourning for their bomb. It's fine. I'm just so mad. Oh yeah, Tarzan had a, a, a horribly gruesome Disney villain death, but you know what? He Clayton fucking deserved, deserved it. it. Which is really funny because Clayton in the original book is a good guy. Is he? Amazing. Yes, they just completely changed. They just gave the same name to a different character. Clayton in the original book is the one who takes over the Greystoke name because Tarzan is actually Lord Greystoke. And, you know, by the time he figures that out, he's like, what the fuck do I want to be an English Lord for? Which, like, valid, honestly. Yeah. So he just Fs off back to Africa because he's like, I don't want any of this shit. And Jane actually marries Clayton. Spoilers, but also it's been out for a hundred years. So there is that. I don't- I don't feel too terrible at spoiling it. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Okay, I'm just like- I'm really glad you're here to keep everyone else interested, because I'm just... <laughs> I did not read the Jungle Book. I've read excerpts from it, but I've never read the whole thing. They made us read excerpts from it in sixth grade. Um, but it was very deliberately just expert- excerpt. 
<laughs> which is like, yeah, good, because I, uh, you know, wasn't necessarily interested in reading the whole thing anyway. Ah, colonialism. <laughs> And imperialism. It's just all, it's all great. I also have not read Frankenstein. I own it and I lent it to a friend who did bring it back to me. I just haven't read it. <laughs> the same friend also gave me a, a later Tarzan book uh, because I read the original Tarzan of the Apes and then it's a huge series that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote. Um, the later books are not quite as bad uh, i have tarzan in the city of gold which is actually kind of cool the main the main villain the queen is like honestly pretty pretty cool um he wasn't awful at writing women when he like wanted to be not awful but the rumor is that tarzan of the apes was written to be the absolute worst book that he could imagine and you know surely they would never publish this and they published it that's the rumor <laughs> at least which i believe because tarzan of the apes is god awful but um tarzan and the city of gold is kind of an interesting read but i would still heavily like trigger warning it for racism and stuff because time period and also just it's a white guy writing about africa <laughs> just throwing that out there i haven't seen the prince of egypt in decades Oof. literal decades one of my friends really really loved it but it did like it was okay to me it was i didn't fixate on it like i fixated on anastasia i fixated <laughs> on anastasia hardcore oh, real anastasia fangirl hours here yeah, yeah anastasia was one of it, my comfort movies um it totally was mulan also yes yes really i mean i feel like that maybe says some things about us but <laughs> I mean it's like should any of us be surprised we turned out the way we did with you know um I was talking to my my new doctor earlier this week and one of the you know very you know appropriate questions that she asked was like are you ha you know are you struggling at all with like like your gender or your sexuality i'm like no nope, pretty sure i'm cis because i got called they once and it hurt oh so i was like ah that is definitely not me nope yep pretty pretty sure pretty sure she is where we stay okay so up until then i was like oh you know it wouldn't hurt my feet and it's like you know i can't say it like hurt my feelings like i was offended by it or something but it was just like that is nope that's definitely not me okay there we go there we are mary shelley technically invented the genre as it exists today yes um of science fiction like she was that was the seminal work that really defined it um yeah, Frankenstein was was a huge pivot point for for that type of work. We're doing we're really doing stuff here, guys. Um, <laughs> just so we're aware. Yeah, I, I am in fact trying. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm. You're all like, yeah, Risa, you're pretty trying. But um, <laughs> no. Oh, God. Okay. Risa, be nice to Risa. I will time no, you out. No, I don't want to be nice to Risa. <laughs> she passed out earlier being a brat. Well, what did they do that for? I mean, low blood pressure, but... <laughs> oh, that. That whole thing. Yeah. Sorry, it was actually tachycardia. Um, oh my god, I hate this life. Okay. Oh my god. They're like, at least we'll give you lots of bombs in the beginning. We gotta save. Oh, okay. Whew. I'm out of, I'm actually like out of stuff to drink. Um. Oh no. That's fine. I'm actually impressed with how well I've done on aggregation right now. Because I am on Xanax. So this is... <laughs> Maybe that's helping because I'm not stressed out. I was gonna out. say you're, yeah, you're like less stressed out about it, yeah. Okay, well, this definitely needs to happen here, yeah, Boom. to get that out of the way. 
Um, that should help. I do want to get as many of these, like, bomb ones out of the way, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're not going to be able to clear them all, but... No, I'm not. I can I can try. I think that's more important. Honestly. Yeah. Bummer. Mm. That's Rude. fine. Fuck yeah. Oh no. There we go. Okay. We're close. I really need to do something about this. Motherfucker. Mm. Is this where I go down? <laughs> Is this where it ends for our illustrious heroes? Okay, I can at least take out one of them. Yeah. Um, I'm just like, mm. I like how it's like, at least take out one of them. It's like a, you know, slow process of assassination. Pretty much. Ooh, sweet. Um, so that bomb needs to come from here. So I'm gonna... Yeah. There we yeah, go. there we go. Um, I guess it can come from either above. Do it like this. Oof. Yeah. Um. No, that doesn't. I want it to maybe come from this side. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to do. I do this, this, that. Yeah. Um. God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. Ah, no, I can. There we go. I'm just trying to like clear out the ones that are. Really bad for me. Yeah, like on the topics of like movies explaining who we turned out to be as people, I don't think it should come as, you know, knowing that I fixated on the movie Anastasia should come as no shock to me that I grew up to be a smart ass. <laughs> fine, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet if you'll be quiet. All right, I'll be quiet. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think you're going to miss it? Miss what? You're talking? No. <laughs> I could keep going. I haven't seen I, the movie in years, and I can still do that. I can imagine. I do own it on DVD. I think I'm going to watch it for Christmas. You I've should. been fielding, you know, upset text messages from my mother about, you know, why I won't come home. It's like, and I'm oh, like, no. you, you work at a doctor's office, mother. And I live in the city where people are still getting sick all the time. And yeah, I, I understand my father hates joy and, you know, <laughs> Christmas will therefore be miserable without me. However, I would like to have more Christmases. And this is why <laughs> we're doing this. By the way, your presents are in transit. One of them arrived today, actually. Oh, you should be getting yours on the 24th, is what it says. Nice. So. I will I will check my mailbox, because I have to go pick up a prescription on the 23rd anyway. Because it won't, it's not allowed to fill until then, and I'm like, fine. So I guess technically it's a controlled substance. 
Anastasia is a very pretty movie. It also leveraged, um, kind of similar to what Beauty and the Beast did. It leveraged a lot of CG for one of the scenes. Um, and it came out very, very pretty. Fuck, I hit the wrong button. Did this again. I keep <laughs> doing this. It keeps happening. But yeah, like I saw, I saw some review of it recently. I forget what the context was, like why they were reviewing it, but it was like, it was one of those kind of like nobody asked for this, kind of like Quest for Camelot, where there was this weird cast that nobody asked to be put together in a movie. I personally think Quest for Camelot is weirder. Um, but like uh, Meg Ryan is Anya, and then uh, like John Cusack is Dimitri, and I don't know who you thought you were going to cast other than Kelsey Grammer as Vlad, but apparently like somebody was weirded out by that. But they're like, Meg Ryan is hideously miscast. And I'm like, do you understand that movie's a rom-com? That's why Meg Ryan was cast. That was Meg Ryan's brand in the late 90s and early 2000s was rom-coms. Like, that's why you cast her. So close. We're getting there. This is so, like... I am, like dying here <laughs> yeah because these so, corner pieces are yeah i i can't really up. do anything good with them i have to like okay we're gonna have to do that yeah but i can do that um yeah don bluth did make a video game called dragon's lair there was an attempt to reboot it recently i think it fell through but i don't remember why um, possibly because there was, you know, that mild affiliation with Channel Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, those people did not know how to run their business. Like, catastrophically so. But. I don't know if I can, because I don't know if I can save this one. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there's that. Yeah, Lindsay Ellis still does videos now. She she does pretty good video essays, I think. I enjoy a lot of her stuff. Damn it. She has a series, I don't think she's done a new one in a long time, but she had a series called Loose Cannon that just went through different canonical um interpretations of the same character or like storyline or something so like she did several of the x-men like she did mystique um she and she did a lot of uh greek deities so like she did hades she did aphrodite and her video on aphrodite is where i learned slash remembered because my mother watched the series when i was a kid that carl urban once played cupid in hercules the legendary journeys oh my god he did in in bedazzled suspenders that were there to hold the wings on, but were just supposed to be part of his leather pants. So Carl Urban has always been in leather pants and always had bleached blonde hair. However, you know what? Fail up, buddy. You did good. <laughs> At least you got to wear a shirt in your next <laughs> fantasy incarnation in, in New Zealand. Because, of course, they cast him because he's a New Zealand actor in Hercules' The Legendary Journeys and Xena were both filmed in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, so that's why he ended up getting cast, was just proximity. But I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, um, Dominic Noble was on uh, Channel Awesome at first, too, and he still does videos that I think are quite good. Um, if straight guys cross-dressing for dramatic effect is like an issue for you the videos might be an issue but he's doing it literally because he doesn't have any other actors it's not really supposed to be played for laughs but just so you know that's a thing that he does um but he he's very very well known for his takedowns of the 50 shades series because his thing is uh movie adaptations of books so that was obviously going to happen and woof but Lindsay Ellis recently did a video on the Omegaverse lawsuits that 
<laughs> is the only case I've ever heard of YouTube actually coming down on the side of a creator for an attempt at a DMC ta DMCA takedown, um, where they literally said, we will pay for your lawyers. <laughs> okay. And it's like, okay. damn. Fuck. Yeah, the follow-up was amazing. Because I watched some of the early Omegaverse stuff happen in real time. Um, and yeah, all of us had completely forgotten that the gal who started the lawsuit was also the one who asked Courtney Milan to like look at it and see what she thought of it because Courtney Milan is a romance author who served as um, clerk to two different Supreme Court justices um, and was a professor of intellectual property law. So like, it's very common for people to be like, hey, Courtney, what do you think about this? And she was like, I think there is no legal standing for this lawsuit. We did it. And the gal was all like pissed about it. It was great. We did it. <laughs> we got to yeah. we got to level 16. Oh my God, it's this already 11. Like so it I is. think we need to stop here. Um, I might just keep doing this after I hang up with you guys. Seems fair. I am so over this. <laughs> However, you've seen 15 levels of aggregation. Haven't you seen them all? However, here's the thing. I'm kind of afraid that um, it might not actually pull up when I'm, if I reload. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anyone else concern. in chat, if anyone else is in chat who currently has this game installed, you can try that for me because I don't want to do that. Yeah, end up losing 15 <gasps> levels of aggregation. Oh my god, that would that would honestly just make me want to cry. So Yeah, so what I'm just going to Uh <laughs> I just don't want to take the chance. Yeah, I get it. Um, at least this one doesn't have any cloning involved. Yeah, that's like my main issue with these. This one actually, I'm not going to say that. Why would I ever try and say <laughs> what I almost said? I know what said. you were going to say and I, I agree. I, d I agree with the appraisal, at least up till this point. <laughs> who, who knows two moves from now, but I have not seen Shira. I still don't have Netflix. I don't have anything. <laughs> it's like, technically I can afford it now, but also I'm like, I'm so used to just having Twitch or like YouTube open that I'm like, would I watch it if I bought it? And also I can't have like, Disney Plus on my Apple TV for some reason, even though I can have a bunch of other Disney apps. So I'm like, Ugh. but like the only thing I would really want to watch is the Baby Yoda show. Ah, fuck. I hit the wrong one. It's fine. It's okay. Now you can get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this here. Yeah. And I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yes. Whew. Whew. Okay, I'm actually gonna really quick, just gonna check with Dr. Husband. If anyone can check for me, can yeah, I, I don't, reload? I don't have in between, but like, and come back to the same level. Okay, that give me one second. I'm gonna... Yeah, I have a Mac, so I can't. I'm gonna see if but... I can ask. Are these, like, supposed to be spelling words? Is that... I have no What's idea. What's going on here? I know there was an N and now this one's a D. Yeah, now there's a D. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just going to see if my doctor husband has to be up in the morning. Um, 
and then I'll see. I'm I'm also asking some friends to check for me, <laughs> who I know have the game installed. So I'll be I'll be right back, y'all. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> um, let's see if people got back to me though. No idea. Could someone check? Level <laughs> 17. Yeah, the only like stuff Hi. I'm finding online is like. What? Sorry, the cat is yelling at me. There's <laughs> like questions about like how many levels do you have to like beat to beat yeah. Mason? And it's like, no, that's not what I'm asking you. <laughs> it's been like an hour. <laughs> I'm asking my friends to check as I as I'm waiting. Game game. <laughs> we're we're trying to see if you save in the middle of aggregation and come back. Will you actually come back to the level you were on, or will it just send you back to a new game? Sometimes I am an idiot, <laughs> but that's okay. We are all idiots at some point or other. We're all mad here. Mad here. It's the fad for many a year. If you think you're creepy here, you're right, because I'm mad, you're mad, we're all mad here. Mm -hmm. Um Is that from the actual Disney one, or is that just from that? I know I was Lightboard it's not, Operator. Okay, it's not from Disney? Yeah, it's, it's, okay. I don't, so, I don't think from either version. It's, um, in... God, how old was I? I had to have been, like, 2007. I was Lightboard Operator for, um, a really, really weird Alice in Wonderland show. According to UHS, it saves the level. It saves save the, the level. level of aggregation. Oh, okay. Let me cool. just finish this level. It resets the level, but remembers which one you're on. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, finish so yeah, this level. Finishing the level is probably a better idea. Yeah. Um, and okay. then. Oh, thank fuck! I was like, I don't want to have to. Thank make... you, Nicole the Pickle. I don't want to have to make a really, really long stream. Right. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Um, where is the best place? 12 hour stream, it's just you playing aggregation. I don't think it would take me 12 hours. <laughs> no, see, you have to leave extra time for the crying. Oh, that's true. So, 
And also for me going off on random tangents about Anastasia. I mean, that apparently. We are all going off on random tangents about Anastasia. <laughs> That's just what this is. That's our group chat lately. It is. <laughs> That's just who we are, okay? Like... Like, I literally brought it up during our Spanish lessons because it's like, there are Spanish words that I know only because I know Journey to the Past in Spanish. And I looked up the, like, trans like the literal translation of all the words. <laughs> and it's, and like, the other reason that I know it is that it's sung by Thalia, and her voice is in my range more so than um, Liz... What is her name who does Anya's singing voice? It's the same gal who did Odette's voice in oh, Swan yeah, her. Princess. Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, no, I know who you're yeah. talking about. Calloway, I Liz Calloway. That's her name. Uh, it's, she's too high for me. So yeah. Thalia is lower, and so, like, I can sing Journey to the Past in Spanish, but I can't really sing it in English. <laughs> Sometimes it's not... Just... It's That's not terribly it uncommon for me to end up like singing the Spanish language version of songs because they seem to, wh whoever they usually like pick to do that seems to always be lower register than whoever the uh, main cast is because girls have to have high singing voices. Obviously. Even when the girl is Ming Na Wen. <laughs> Which the only reason Lea Salonga didn't get the, uh, voice part for Mulan is that she couldn't make her voice deep enough as Ping and Ming-Na could. Yeah. So. Bam. Um. Honestly. And then if I do it like If you that. complete all levels of aggregation, you might win a ward from Game Boomers in its obnoxious sentence. Yeah. Yeah, they like to do that. Yeah, you might. This is one way or the other, people. It's a binary. <laughs> like, with those ones where it's not clear how many, like, thing times you have to do it or something, where it's, like, honestly might be randomized, like a random number, random integer between this and this, like, that I get. But it is, a, like, aggregation is definitely either you complete all levels or you don't complete all levels. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Nice. So we got to level 18. Oh my woo, woo. God. Save game. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. This does not appear to be a letter. So we're not, <laughs> we're evidently not spelling something out. Would have been really funny if it was Mason. My friends were like, let me just check. I will install Deadly Device for you. <laughs> I appreciate it, but thankfully someone gave me the answer. Okay, so Woo. we have that. I'm also going to rename the save. Fuck aggregation. Yeah. Save. And then tomorrow we'll start. We haven't done like anything in the game. <laughs> Ooh, I hate aggregation so much. I'm gonna like it's like I'm I'm seeing it in my brain now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, next time they're all like, "Are you having nightmares?" I'm gonna be like, "Yes." There's this board it's and all these multicolored pieces, and I can only go from one of four directions. Exactly. Okay. Thank you guys for coming to watch. I'll see you tomorrow. Aggregation is the deadly device. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll be back same time. Yes, we will. We'll we'll do this. So peace out, y'all. Peace out.